chip in, chip away into that deficit. The 29 pin difference. Carroll's up five, so it's 24. Carroll all over the head, Ben. And we've already uh, taped. as well. We've already taped. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I'm losing track of how many. So 16 strings earlier today with the little kids, and that 120 is the highest score we've seen so far today. So very nice string by Kylie. Where would you play this leave on lane three? I'd be tempted to split them or go high on the wood. Ooh, he almost. It looked like he might have tried to split them. Just went a little, a little far left. That ball just hung on the alley. A tough shot. He had the uh, had the shot to go at the cap as well on the right and let the ball take the pin. Well, both boys with a couple of nines. Carroll at 69, Lombardo at 64. This is the first game in a two-string series. This is really, really some very good bowling by by all of these four so far. You know, 120, going to have probably at least three out of four Great games ball. over 100 here. Carroll on the head for the game, as well as Lombardo too. Oh. A couple of tough leaves. I'll say. Lombardo hoping that wood's going to, oh, I think it's got double wood there. I like that. I like that shot, Dan. Double wood always gives me hope because you never know where it's going to go. I think he can play either side and have a chance at it. Looking at it with the naked eye on lane four, I don't really like that leave. Looking at it on the TV screen, yet it looks like it might go, but... It's gonna go right there. Oh, he almost cut it over. Can oh, 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 boy. That's a tough break. It's a good good offer. Chris has been a uh, participant on our show for quite a few years now. Always doing very well for himself. He's a very accurate bowler. He doesn't throw a lot of speed on the ball, but he's on his object pin. That's the name of the game. Candle pin bowling is a game everybody can play from young to old. If you're ever in the Haverhill area, you want to stop here at the Pilgrim Lanes. It's a really nice facility. They got the grandstands in the back, the bleaches, great, great for seating to watch others bowl. They got a beautiful arcade. Yeah, pool tables. A little bit of everything. Yeah, it's a really nice place. Great place to hold a birthday party. Nice ball by Carroll. He's oh, got it. Wow. I didn't That's expect him. That's a nice him. shot. I, it was so, so tough. on the I outside, didn't, Dan. Didn't really expect him to be able to make that one. It went nice. Lombardo looking for an out, takes a six, big spare for Carroll. How often do you see that though, you know, one bowler makes a spare that you don't really expect to go, and then the other bowler in the same box has their toughest box, it happens a lot, and you really gain a lot of pins back when you're trailing that way. And that head pin kicked off the side wall and hit the back pins and pushed everything forward. I think Carroll will take that drop, nine drop off the head pin. That's a big nine. That really puts them back in the match, too. They really needed that. And a little helpful wood for Lombardo that should help this shot go. Keeps things very tight. Go. Nice. Just missing. Lombardo there hit he it. Goes. And there's a nice shot. He deserved that. That yep. was a great ball. And you almost, almost proved me wrong when I said the wood should help it go. It almost roadblocked the back pin. Carroll came up a little short on that spare. To the right again, settles for nine, and our boys are in the last box. Lombardo looking to add to that lead. The winners of this match will be taking on our top seeds, Danielle Manser and Jonathan Boudreau. Should be a great finals. Nice ball. Oh, that is tough. Tough three fill for Lombardo on right the on spare. The head too. Paid the price for being just a little, a little too accurate on that shot. You're aiming for the head pin. That takes the wind out of you too, because you know your opponent just put up a mark earlier, missed the head pin, got a nice nine, and you're all over it. You get a three. But you know, luckily for him, he can rest on the fact that he's still got a nice lead to protect. That always helps. That was a nice try by Carroll. He's got two pins remaining with a nice couple of nice pieces of wood. Lombardo will be looking up. for a big out. My match will be within a couple marks at the end. Carroll with a 9. Oh, he gets the 10. And Lombardo with a 6. So at the end of the first game, Kendra Boomhauer and Sean Carroll 
They're at 206. Kylie Giuseppeak and Chris Lombardo are at 219. So we got a 13 pin difference in the match. We're going to take a little break and uh, don't go away. We'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Yay. Here we go, the final game of the semi-final match. Kylie Jasevniak is going to lead us off. Kylie off in the left corner. Everybody take a good look at that leave that Kylie has, because you don't see her throw the first ball over there too often. Kendra, makeable shot if she can put it in the one, the one-two pocket. The girls will be looking for an out here. Nice out. A couple nice nines. Not a bad start. It's only a 13 pin difference in the match in favor of Josefiak and Lombardo. Kylie back on the head pin. Two pins remaining. Kendra off to the right side. And Josephiak. Oh! Wow, that wood that was tucked in. You would have thought, thought that. It, you would have thought that wood would have made it almost impossible not to get right, it. Right, right. And she still hit it too full. Girls will be looking for a ten. Kylie grabs hers. And Kendra an eight. Those are just Josephiak and Lombardo team just picked up two more pins, and now they're up by fifteen. Oh, nice back ball. on it, head bend, very accurate ball. Oh, look at this. Hey, hey we got our first hammer, Dan. Finally. Kendra nice ball, Pumau are striking a big smile. You almost had back-to-back -back strikes there. Oh, no. Uh, tough ball for Giuseppiak. The wood, wood cost her. I think she would have had it without the wood. She may have been going right for the pin. I would have. I'm not. I'm not proud, Steve. I'd have played that right on the wood, right I in the middle. I think she was going right at the pin. She's a very accurate bowler. She's got a lot of confidence in herself. We're gonna have to teach her how to be less proud. Go oh. right for that red line. Our 15 pin difference is gonna change once uh, Kendra fills her strike. Should get pretty interesting here, Dan. Yeah. Nice head pin hit for Kendra. A couple of six drops. I like Giuseppe I actually a little better because the wood's further out she in front. She hits that red line. It might carry, Dan. Good job. Wow. Look at that. She was on it. Wow. That's a nice shot by Giuseppe Hack. Boomhauer filling the spear with eight, cutting the lead down to seven, eight. Seven, actually. Oh, seven. Excuse yeah. me, seven. Beautiful out, though. In a nine. Wow. Oh, Kylie, tough shot there. Four pins remaining. Side by side. Five, six, nine, ten. It's a good try. She filled that spear with six. Kendra will be looking for a big out. An eight for Kylie. That's it, ladies. And nice the ladies half. are done. Nice halves. And here comes their partners. Good start for the girls. Giuseppe at 53. Kendra at 49. 